All new at 11, shocking new video shedding light on a shooting involving a Clayton County police officer. In it, you can see a struggle with a female officer and another female who was reportedly dealing with a mental health crisis. Investigators say Officer Demika Lloyd was shot by that woman. It happened at a home in Jonesboro, just south of the Atlanta airport. CBS 46's Alan Devlin live outside Grady Hospital. He walks us through this new video. Alan. Yeah, Rick and Sean, it was surveillance footage, security cameras at that home where the shooting happened that provided us with that video. I've spoken to the victim's family as well as the suspect's family. This as both of them sit here in the hospital at Grady. You know, it was heartbreaking. Um, it's just, I mean, surreal crazy. Shocking video shows Clayton County officer Demika Lloyd dive at Ayanna Pryor, the two fighting over a gun in Pryor's hand. Two shots are fired, striking Lloyd. She then falls to the ground as Pryor gets up and then runs away. Immediately upon that contact, another subject in the house called our dispatch back and advised that she'd heard multiple gunshots and that our officer was down. Pryor shot exchanging gunfire with officers later. Lloyd then taken to Grady Hospital. Lloyd's brother speaking to CBS 46 by phone from Florida. As far as I know, she's, um, she's, been, she's already made it through uh, surgery. I think she's in a induced coma, you know, I guess for the swelling. Clayton County police say the suspect was suffering from a mental health breakdown, threatening suicide over the phone. Both Pryor and her mother called Clayton County police out to this home on Newberry Drive. However, Pryor's family tells CBS 46 off camera they believe anyone being injured could have been avoided had mental health response training been prioritized. According to the Georgia Peace Officer Standards and Training Council, Lloyd has received 29 hours total of training this year in two hours in suicide prevention and de-escalation. Mental health expert Chris Johnson says understanding the situation is key when responding. Having someone there who wants to listen, who wants to understand, and who wants to help, you know, that's a totally different situation than someone approaching you with a gun. However, right now it is unclear exactly what happened late last night. I'm still in disbelief. I don't, I don't know. I'm just lost for words right now. Now, while you guys were watching that story, another Clayton County police officer's car pulled up here at Grady Hospital. Of course, that officer still inside. Now, right now, we have no updates on her condition, but we're waiting to learn more. Once we get that, we'll be sure to let you know. Right now, we're live in downtown Atlanta. Alan Devlin, CBS 46 News.